Right, here we go. This is Monday Morning Reviews. This is a new thing I shall do. This will probably be the only time I ever do this, but it's it's absolutely bucketing down. It's pissing down, it's pouring, it's cats and dogs. It's raining uh, in Scotland just now. And, um, and normally what happens is I'll, I'll spend a fair bit of time with the device before I record the review. I'll have my spec sheet up and all the, the notes and the, the relevant information I need to share. And uh, and everything laid out here, and and I, I, I'll be good to go. Not on a Monday morning. On a Monday morning, my head is up my ass, and um, but the, I, I just wanted to show you something, and 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 I couldn't be bothered doing all the the prep as I normally do. Uh, so this is just going to be warts and all. This is, uh, and you know, I don't think I'll even edit this. I'm just going to leave the camera going. So if I go uh, squirrel, that I'm sorry. It's it's just. A Monday morning review. So what am I going to show you? It's going to be a squonker from Geek Vape and it's the Aegis 100, is it the Aegis 100? Kit? Can't remember. Um, it's a bit like this. Now, Aegis uh, from Geek Vape. You, you know Aegis Mini, Aegis... There's so many of them now. Um, you, short and sweet version, you can beat the shit out of it and it'll still work. Uh, it's IP67 rated, dustproof, waterproof and shockproof and it's basically just your regular mod but they've put it in a big rubber case and they've sealed it all up so that, yeah, it'll take a kicking. It's as simple as that. Uh, so what they've done with this Aegis is they have rammed in a 10 milliliter capacity bottle in there. However, in saying that, I can get 11 mil of juice in this one. So there's an 11 mil bottle of juice in there. There's a board in the front. This is the AS100, 100 watt. It comes with the Tengu RDA, which I've already reviewed before. And I think it's a very good RDA for the style. Um, I do enjoy it. And, and here we go, it's an 18650. I know that the, the 21700 crew are going to be shouting and screaming and just pissed off right now because it's just, we wanted a 21700. Well, I'm sorry, it's not. It's an 18650. That's all you're getting. Uh, I've had 666 puffs on this since it arrived and I can, I, if you watch my videos, you know I've got a lot of posh, la -di da type kind of gear, squonkers, many of them. And I love my squonkers. And um, I, and you, you'd know, if, if I thought something was shit, I would tell you it's shit. There is some things that people may not like about this, but for me as a beater squonker, and I think this kit costs about 67 pounds, something like that. I don't even know if it's out yet. Um, this, this, I, 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 I enjoy vaping with this. It's an Aegis. If you know your Aegis mods, um, then that's exactly what you're getting with this one. It, it's just, for me, it's the perfect beater squonker, as in it'll take a kick in and that's it. Can I stop now? Or do you want to see it up close? I'll do a quick up close, just a quick one. I'm just, I'm just emptying out the box here. Now this is a sample box. Uh, but and there's no manual with mine or anything like that but uh, th there's a hell of a amount of gear that comes with it so a uh, USB charger it's um uh, no it's not a USB-C back in the box uh we also get a coiling rod back in the box uh, we get some tools we get some o-rings we get a 510 drip tip adapter uh there's a uh, standard 510 pin and you also get in the RDA it's got a squonky pin in there once again I've reviewed this it's definitely I think it's a good for the, this diameter I think it's 24 uh, I, I do enjoy using mine uh, I kept mine after I reviewed it and continue to use it uh, there are also coils and cotton in the bag there uh, we have an allen key here as well and a spare bottle, put that in there, and a spare sleeve. Now, if you want, you can take this door off, and if you don't want to use it as a squonker, you can put 
I'm, I'm calling it a door. I don't know if that's the, the right term or sleeve. And you can put this on. So it will convert it from a squonker into a 100 watt mod. Uh, so that's, yes, yes, that's a thing. Uh, it can do that. Now, the interesting stuff, or is it interesting? Uh, I, I think some people might not be a fan of this. Um, is that Allen key the right size? I don't know if it's the right size. Hang on. Uh, give me two seconds. I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to put my glasses on. I swear they are different sizes, those two screws. Uh, you may have to... Once again, this is uh, a, a sample one. Uh, I'm not sure if the, you know, the final retail one will be as odd as this, but uh, I swear they are different sizes. Uh, right, enough. I'll, I'll get these undone. Right, that's done. Pull this off. Boom, there we go. So, uh, you will see here, we have a juice bottle in here. Now the juice is when you squonk, the juice is coming up and is coming out this hole here, going across into this hole here, and then up into the 510. Uh, on my one, uh, let's say I've had, um, and just to clarify, I don't know if you'll be able to see that there, you can see I've had 666 puffs on this one. It has not leaked one single drop of juice. I've not had any issues with it at all, uh, but that is how the, the juice system is working. If you want to fill it up with juice, it's that. That's how you do it. Fill it up with that. And uh, I'll, I'll cover that a bit more when we go back up top. I'm just checking here again. Uh, those bottom screws don't seem to actually... I'm not sure where they actually screw into. I can't see them. You know, you've got this threaded part for the big one up the top. But there's kind of like nothing down the bottom. That's a weird setup, that. I will also say, if you're looking for the USB, it's it's under here. Uh, once again, this, this whole thing is IP67. I mean, that's why you have this sealed fill unit up here. That's why your USB is under here. It's because it's, it's waterproof, basically. I'll throw this back together and then, uh, yeah, we'll continue having a grumpy Monday morning. Back again. Ah, okay, here we go. Uh, that was a very quick look. Uh, things I will say, this is this is a short and sweet version of what I found in the past week and a half that I've been using this. Uh, once again, the RDA I think is very good. Uh, you can see that it's, uh, if that's a 24mm, you're going to get big chunky RDAs on here, no problem. A 22mm RDA, it kind of looks lost on the top. I'll be honest, it kind of looks lost. Um, the other thing is, is that the 510 actually has an O-ring sitting inside it. Uh, I don't know if this is related to the whole IP67 thing. I'm not sure if this will show up, uh, but can you see that clear O-ring sitting in there? This does mean that your RDA or anything you put on it will not sit completely flush. So that's, that's one big black mark from me. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that there. It just, there is a slight gap, just a slight gap, very, very small, but um, yeah, I know it's there and it bugs me. So I'll just have a vape. Six hundred and sixty-seven puffs. Um, other things that uh, you will need to know about is when I fill it like that, uh, sometimes depending on the bottle that I am using, you have to take the RDA off. If you're using a, a, a chunky bottle, then you'll have to take the RDA off to fill it. That, once again, might be a negative for some people, um, but it's dead easy to fill and I have been able to get 11 mil in there. Um, at that at no time has, it's not really stiff, but it's not, it doesn't bother me. I've not brushed against it and knocked it open by mistake. I can leave this lying on its side and it will not leak out. I've had zero issues with the bottle. It is a soft bottle, so you do get a spare with it. People will, I know there's going to be a camp of people that say, oh, for fuck, you know, I have to undo screws to get in at the bottle. <laughs> I mean, yes, you do. That's a fact. Um, if you want to clean it out, just get some hot water or lukewarm water, just fill it up and then just shake it about and then just squonk it out and that'll clean all the piping out within the mod. 
uh, that's basically the only way you're going to do it. You can take this bottle out, you do have the spare one, it's a bit like the Krypton Factor trying to figure out how to get that bottle out however, but it can be done. Uh, other things to be aware of, um, battery, it's an 18650, can't say any more than that, it's an 18650. Uh, because this battery cap has a big chunky o-ring on it to keep it sealed, it, getting it started uh, threading wise can be a bit of a, a bollock sometimes, so if you've owned an Aegis in the past you'll already know that, the same thing applies here. Uh, the 100 watt thing going on here, uh, it's an AS100 board, you've seen it a million times in other Aegis things uh, and I've had no issues with it. It's big, it's rubbery, it's... it's... I'm very particular about what I vape with in my own spare time. Um, when I'm not reviewing gear, I have a, I have a, I think I've said this before, I have a little shelf up here where I have my beater mods and I'll, just to make this clear, you know, these are some of my beater mods. This is my, my fridge, it's not my fridge, it's, uh, uh, this is my, my from Dean, this is uh, the Bassium uh, Jewel 18650. This is what I use as one of my beater squonkers. My other beater squonker is my, was it the Luxotic? Uh, was my, the, so these are the two that I use when I'm I'm going somewhere where I'm, I, I wouldn't take my laddie da mods. Uh, that, that simple. I'm going to pass one of these on to somebody in my Facebook group. I'm going to keep the other one because for me, it's perfect. It's perfect for what I need for, for something that can take a kick in, hold a ton of juice, squonks well, and 18650, which I prefer using, easy to refill if you're using the right size bottle. It, it ticks all the boxes for me. I, I make no apologies for the fact that I like this mod. I, I really do like this mod. Uh, Yes, it has some weak points, but I like what I like. I'm, I'm not going to make excuses for that. But once again, if you do not like 18650 batteries, if you have an issue with having to take a mod to bits to get into the bottle, then this is not the mod for you. If you don't like big rubbery things, then this also isn't for you. But I like these things, so I'm keeping it. And that is um, Grumpy Monday Morning Review from Todd's Reviews. I don't think this will ever happen again, and uh, possibly Geek Vape will never send me another mod. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled. There will be people out very, very soon, if not already, that have had their coffee and have had a good night's sleep that will show you this mod off properly. Um, um, me, maybe not. Oh, I should do a size comparison. I completely forgot. Hang on. Um, 18650, this is a, a, a MOSFET, fet type thing if I remember correctly, but uh, just to give you a rough idea of the size, two 18650 squonkers, uh, once again this one holds 11 mil and it's a, a regulated 100 watt, but you, you get an idea of the size here because I know a lot of people still own these, and, and that's it, I'm off for more coffee, thank you Geek Vape for sending this on, and until next time, bye for now.